Welcome to part three of the updated COVID-19 misinformation tutorial, applying the SIFT method to vaccine information. This video covers the first of the four moves in Michael Caulfield's SIFT method. Stop. Stop is the simplest step in the SIFT method. False or misleading information is often packaged to appeal to our emotions. Research has shown that Content that causes strong emotions, both positive and negative, spreads the fastest through our social networks. So let's take a look at the few of the stories and social media posts we'll be applying the SIFT method to over the next few videos and what kinds of emotions they may provoke. Our first example is an item published by the New York Post titled 23 die in Norway after receiving Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. That sounds scary. We might also feel angry and distrustful after reading this, especially after we read in the first paragraph that health officials said the deaths are apparently related to vaccine side effects. Our second example is an Instagram post from the account Informed Mothers, claiming Ticketmaster will require a mandatory COVID vaccine to attend concerts. That might make us feel outrage, indignation, and anger. Ticketmaster isn't our physician. So it can be tempting to like or share this post with the boycott Ticketmaster hashtag. Our third example is a viral image of a flyer titled COVID-19 vaccine drug facts. It looks like it could be an insert in a prescription medicine and uses scientific terms and states claims in a factual manner. There are a lot of scary words and warnings here that play into people's fears and sometimes justified misgivings about medicine and the pharmaceutical industry. You can see that this one post got a lot of angry and wow reactions, comments, and 91 shares. Imagine how many reactions, comments, and shares this one image probably racked up across all social media channels. Lots of people who didn't stop themselves from sharing possible misinformation when they understandably felt a strong emotion like fear or outrage, exactly what this image was designed to do. But applying the first step in the SIFT method means that instead of smashing that share or react button right away, first stop and try to look at the source without judgment or letting your emotions get the best of you, even when it's hard. Ask yourself, do I know the source of this information? Do I recognize the website or author it came from? And if you're not sure, stop and do a little more work to find that out before you share or rely on what could be false or misleading information. Or as Caulfield says, use your emotions as a reminder. When you feel strong emotion, happiness, anger, pride, vindication, and that emotion pushes you to share a fact with others, stop. Above all, these are the claims that you must fact check. The rest of the steps in the SIFT method, starting with the next step, investigate, will help us fact check and evaluate these sources. But the first and most important step is to stop yourself from immediately believing, rejecting, or sharing information that provokes a strong emotional reaction. 